For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem that says determine the resultant couple moment of the two couples that act on the assembly, specify its magnitude and coordinate direction angles. So basically um, I'm going to have to label a couple of uh, points. So I'm going to label this point right here as A and this point where this force acts as B. So now I need to find A and B position vectors. So A is located at 0i plus 2j plus 0k and B is located at 3.46i plus 7j minus 2k. The next thing to do is you need to locate the vector that goes from A all the way to B. So the vector that goes from A to B is equal to B minus A and that is equal to 3.46i plus 5j minus 2k. Now that we have this vector, in case you're wondering how uh, we found B, let me write it down right here because B has a X component, a Y component, and a C component. The X component of the position of B um, might be a little tricky. It's just this triangle, which has an angle of 30. So the X component of B is given by 4 cosine of 30. The Y component of B is simply 7, which is 2 plus 2 plus 3. And the C component of B is 4 sine of 30. So now that we have all the components and the vector that goes from A to B, you can find the magnitude of the moment created by the 60 pound couple moment, which is given by the cross product of AB cross the magnitude of the 60 pound force, we're going to use this one because we're going from A to B. If we were going from B to A, we would use this one. But I'm going from A to B, so I'm going to use B. So, we're going to build our matrix I, J, K on the first three, I mean the second three, because the first three is I, J, K is going to go A, B, which is 3.46 5 and negative 2 and the 460 we're using the second one because we're going from A to B so it's 0 0 and it's going straight up on 60 so now we solve this matrix we rewrite the first and second column 5 and this is 0 0 and then we multiply the positive diagonals plus 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 which gives you 5 times 60 which is 300 i then you get 0 and 0 and these are the positive diagonals and then the negative diagonals negative 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 which are these 0 0 and 60 times 3.46 times j which comes out to be a uh, positive 207.6 times the minus because it's a negative diagonal is 207.6 and in the j and if you're wondering the unit is inch pounds why because we have pounds here and the distances are in inches so this is the moment created by the 60 pound sorry about that I haven't done this in a while, I gotta get the hand of it again. So, now we have to do the same thing to find the couple moment created by this 80 pound force. So we're gonna go through the same uh, motions. We're gonna call this point C, we're gonna call this point D. Once we got CD, we know that the, hold on, CD is equal to whatever C is. 
I'm sorry, whatever, D is minus C. And when you calculate that, you're going to get that in the same manner that we did AB, of course, you're going to get that this is equal to 3.46 in the I plus 0 in the J minus 2 in the K. Now, once you have this vector, all you have to do is the moment of the 80 pound force is equal to CD cross the force. Since we're going from C to D, we're going to use this force, the 80 pound force. So this is I, this is J, and this is K. CD is 3.46. 0 and negative 2 and this is 0 80 and 0 again this is positive 80 because we're going from C to D so we're using this one if we were going from D to C we will use a negative one and all the signs would basically flip and it will give you the same result I J so we're gonna complete the matrix 3.46, 0, 0, 80. So you do the positive diagonals. This is the only one because the rest have zeros. These are the negative diagonals. This is the only one because the rest have zeros. And that is equal to 276.8k plus 160i. And that is for the moment created by the 80. So basically all you have to do is just add them together to get the result and moment. Is equal to the moment at 60 plus the moment at 80. So when you add this Cartesian vector to this Cartesian vector, You're going to get that the resultant vector is equal to 460 in di minus 207.6 in the j. That's a minus, I swear. Plus 276.8 in the k. Now, all you need to do is find the magnitude. The magnitude is found by doing the square root of the x component plus the y component plus the c component, all square rooted. So you get this one, you square it, plus this one, you square it, plus this one, you square it, and then you do a square root of all of that. And you should get that the resultant moment is 575.6 inch pounds, of course. Sorry, that's a sum. And now you need to find the direction angles because they're annoying and that's what they're asking for. Which is equal to the cosine inverse of the x components over the magnitude. The cosine inverse of the y component over the magnitude and the cosine inverse of the C component over the magnitude. And you should get that the answer for these three uh, are 36.94 degrees, 111.14 degrees, and 61.25 degrees. Final answer for the angles and final answer for the magnitude.